June 28th. Uh, I wanted to share also with you guys, I had a uh, vision, a dream. It's been, uh, I'm going to say probably about a month or two, two months now, where I was in a riverbed with a bunch of people, man. I mean, everybody was going down the same direction in this river. I've shared this before, but I'm going to share it again because there's a lot of new people on here. Um, we're all going down the same direction, but everybody was picking up rocks, and they were throwing them at me. And uh, I believe that's because I wasn't going with the swing of things here the way it is today. And I was constantly speaking against it. But anyhow, uh, trying to warn people. But anyhow, they had uh, kept throwing rocks at me and they made me kind of go into a fork in the river where I ended up going over to the left. And uh, they all went to the right. But as they were all mad, throwing rocks at me, stuff like that. But as soon as they went around the corner, they were being lifted up out of, out of like on a conveyor belt. And you know how I'm always saying puppets, calling people puppets with demons hosting them? Well, they were being lifted up into a conveyor belt, and there was like door after door after door, row and row and row on top of each other. And they were all being carried into the mountain, but they looked like they were like like lifeless puppets. You know, their arms were hanging, their legs were hanging, their heads were hanging, like they were dead. And uh, like puppets, you know, with no life in them. And I knew that they were being carried into hell. You know, and that's why I say everybody, you know, going in the same direction, doing the same thing, saying, oh, well, that's normal. Everybody's doing that. See, I've had people telling me that with my business when I was in painting. And I knew I told everybody that everybody's cheating. They're not doing the prep work. They're lying. And uh, a lot of people would say, oh, well, just do what everybody else is doing. You know, that's just the way it is. Well, with that vision, everybody was going in the same direction. And the thing is, inside, we know what's right and we know what's wrong. Um, I wanted to share that. You know, this is my first day with the uh, uh, fasting. And I started fasting after lunch yesterday, really. I didn't eat anything after that. But here, today's full day. It's like, you know, 8, eight o'clock or so. Um... You know, it's really not that bad. <laughs> I'm going to do it tomorrow, too. But I believe, yeah, that's going to make things where it's a real lot closer with being to the Lord. And it is true. I've had visions all the time with dreams. I've had multiple. I've shared them on my videos here. Uh, even while eating, normally I still had my visions. You know, I mean, the Lord doesn't stop that from coming. But uh, I believe... I'm going to fast because I'm, that's my way of reaching out to the Lord, telling him I want to, I want this more. I want to hear more. I want to understand more because I know we're close to going. I know something's getting ready to happen. I've also seen in a vision last Christmas, um, I was, it got stuck in a Christmas parade and I seen how demonic and evil it was with gangster rap music it had nothing to do with Jesus Christ. I mean, nothing. The rap music they were playing. Um, I even looked at a cop and I said, man, I said, this is demonic. This a, He goes, oh, leave them alone. They're just having fun. And, you know, this is after they took Jesus Christ out of everything, you know. I said, no. I said, you know, these people don't realize what was written in the Bible. The warnings that are in there. Joseph, he, he's, got, he's out there, he's got a video. Uh, he's called Joseph Advocate for Jesus. He was just speaking, you know, I was reading in the Bible too where I seen it. He was speaking about a passage where he's seen tires and mufflers, you know, being replaced. I just seen a, a passage in Isaiah where um, I was reading and they were talking about a tire will be upon your head. You know, I'm sorry, but, you know, these words were never in the Bible before. They didn't have tires back then. And uh, there's a lot of stuff changing in, in this Bible now, but uh, not to be worried about it. It's just like I said, things are changing. They're they're changing a lot. A lot of these pastors aren't even speaking about this in these churches either. So that should tell you a lot. When they're not picking up on it, they're not telling you about it. 
they're not warning you about it. They're still just tickling your ears. You know, you should be running away from these people, man. Because the Bible even speaks about that in the end days. People will seek to have their ears tickled. I've met lots of people. I'm looking at these people the way they're dressed now. I'm at Walmart. Uh, it's They just expose themselves. It's ridiculous. Um, they have no idea um, what's at hand. And it's not going to be good. But anyhow, um, I have a feeling, you know, like I said, that's why I'm fasting right now to get closer to the Lord. And I had a lot of people on there say that they're going to do it as well. You know, which it's going to be good for you. And uh, I've just had a feeling that I should do this. You know, the thing I'm wondering about is like the fluids, drinking like my tea. I drink tea. And today I've only had about three, three sips out of my tea. But I like to keep my mouth wet. You know what I mean? Because uh, I just like to keep my mouth wet. So my teeth don't dry out too bad. But, uh, anyhow, I took some vitamins this morning, you know, after I took my shower, because I figured if I'm not eating, at least I should have some vitamins in me or something. Um, but being hungry, that doesn't really bother me too bad. You know, tomorrow, I'm going to fast again tomorrow, and then from there, um, I'm probably going to get me something to eat. But I'm going to fast again tomorrow one more day. And, you know, see where it gets me, what happens. You know, because like I said, I've had some awesome visions. Especially about my hand turning transparent. Which that means it's at hand, man. We're getting, it's, we're getting ready to go. If you guys seen everything that I've seen, especially the demonic spirits, man. Somebody sent me a uh, video of uh, Mozart with that tune I was singing that I told you I heard. You heard everybody heard it on The Godfather, where it goes. But I just did that over and over and over and over in this General Motor plant that I was in, and then uh, like two days later, I'm in the shower. You know, and it does it again. You know, and or somebody's out whistling it. You know, while I'm taking a shower, and they're doing it right in front of my door, doing it. You know, and uh, I I told you how I talked to him about it. I said, "What made you do that?" You know, he didn't even know, and he had earphones on listening to the radio. You know, and uh, but that's how you know spirits work, man. I told you they host, they're hosting people. I promise you, I know what I'm talking about. Um, I have pictures of what they look like too. I haven't been sending them to everybody, but you know, if you want to see what they really look like, their eyes. One of them you can look and you'll see like wind getting underneath of her eye, and then the looks like snake eyes, and then she spits her tongue out really fast. But I've got, I've got pictures of that. I, I don't send that out to everybody, but. Uh, Anybody that wants to see it, um, I'll be happy to send it to you. This uh, a younger girl. She, you know, she lost her soul, man. She lost her soul. Yeah, you know, I don't know what she did, but obviously she didn't didn't know the Lord, and her heart wasn't right. You know, I don't know, but I I do know that it's a demon that was hosting her. Yeah, you know, I I know a lot about what's going on and how what's happening, and I don't try to act like I'm all that because like I said by by his grace you know we're saved you know by what he did on the cross God bless y'all be with the Holy Spirit and remember don't deny the name of our Lord Jesus Christ any opportunity you get man be bold and speak up about him because sometimes they'll put you to the test and they'll try to get you to deny his name don't let them do it man because that's what they're doing. They're trying to get as many people. Because it says in St. Luke, chapter 21, verse 36, pray that you're worthy to escape what's about to happen. And then in Revelation 3, the church of Philadelphia, 8 through 12, says, because you did not deny my name, I'm going to spare you the moment of trial that's coming upon the whole earth. So they're trying hard to deceive people. 
and to get you to deny the name of Jesus Christ. Don't do it. God bless you. Be with the Holy Spirit. Remember what I said. Do not deny his name. Because we're about ready to go. And then if I have any dreams, you know, that's what I'm, my fasting's about. I want to get closer to the Lord. I'm close to him anyhow, but I want to I want to get, he knows what I want. And uh, I'll be happy to share it with y'all. He knows that I want to share all this with y'all too. God bless you.